For question 7, we have to design the resistor R in order to get the proper current flowing through the diodes that would gives us the voltage in each one of the diodes that allows us to have an output voltage of 5.6 volts, right? So overall, the voltage V out in this circuit, it is determined by the sum of the 2 volts, right? Plus 5 times the voltage of the diodes. So it's 5 times VD, right? Because all the diodes there seem to be ideal diodes, not ideal diodes, but identical diodes, right? With an ideal T factor of 1.2. And one condition for the diodes is that if a current of 2 milliamperes flows through this diode, they will. Um, there will be a voltage across the diode that it's equals to 0 0.6 volts. So we know this condition, but we don't know what's going to happen, uh, what would be like the required current for like a new value of Vd that gives us V out equals to 5.6 volts, right? So let's see what's the value actually Vd that we need uh, for each one of the diodes. So VD in this case is equals to V out, which is 5.6 minus 2 volts divided by 5, right? So this gives us a value of 0 0.72 volts for each one of the diodes, right? Now what's the value of the current that gives us this one here? So first we have to calculate the saturation current, right? So the saturation current is going to be the current I divided by exponential of Vd divided by the ideal T factor uh, times the thermal voltage. This is equals to 2 milliamperes divided by exponential of the known condition Vd 0, 06 divided by the ideal T factor of 1.2 right, times for a thermal voltage, we use the common value of 25 millivolts, okay? Gives us a saturation current that it's 4.12 picoampere, so 10 times uh, 10 to the minus 12, right? So now that we know this is a saturation current, we just need to figure out what's the new value of current in order to provide those 0 0.72 volts, right? So we calculate I, the new I, equals to the saturation current, so it's 4.12 times exponential of 0 0.72 divided by 1.2 times 25 millivolts, right? And this gives us a current that it's I equals to 89.86 milliamperes. So that's the current that we should have flowing here through the diodes. Right, so in an ideal like for for a case where we have that current flowing, the equation for this circuit would be so it would be minus ten from the voltage source plus the current flowing through the diodes, this ID that we just calculated, times the resistance plus five times the voltage across each one of the diodes plus 2 volts and that should be equals to 0. So this gives us an equation for R, sorry for R, that is equals to 10 minus 2 minus 5 times VD divided by ID. Now if we substitute the values of R, sorry, the values of VD as 0 0.72, the current ID as 89.86 milliamperes, this gives us something that it's 4.4 volts divided by 89.86 milliamperes. Okay. And this corresponds to a resistance of around 4.29 ohms. Okay, so that's it for this problem.